The IAR330 was initially nothing but a slightly modified Romanian license-built variant of the French SA330 Puma. Then the First Cold War came to an end and the latest Western Standard subsystems became available for a former Warsaw Pact country. Subsequently, a new lineage of the French Wildcat helicopter dynasty was born. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the IAR-330, the Puma of the Carpathians. The IAR-330 symbolizes many things, including the free spirit of Romania against Soviet hegemony, the great leap forward of this country's defense industry in the 1970s, and a highly beneficial business plan, among others. For 50 years, the Romanians have been adapting many foreign systems and making them more effective and sexy. Produced by Industria Aeronautica Romania, or IAR, this helicopter is no exception. The story of the IAR-330 dates back to the early 1970s. Made unwillingly communist by the USSR after the Second World War, the rebellious spirit of the Romanians against their northern neighbor never faded during the First Cold War. Following the Soviet-Chinese split, this defiance became increasingly evident and Nikolai Ceausescu, who assumed power in 1965, initiated a diversification policy while fostering good relations with the West. He maintained the country's position in the Warsaw Pact but actively and openly condemned the 1968 invasion of Czechoslovakia. The 1973 oil crisis led to a fivefold increase in oil prices, which in turn boosted Romanian oil revenues, opening up new opportunities. Now, Ceausescu possessed adequate funds to establish a self-sufficient national military industry. The first helicopter of the Romanian Air Force was the Soviet Mi-4, which came into service in 1954. However, following this limited number of acquisitions, Bucharest swiftly shifted its focus to Poland and procured the PZL SM-1 and SM-2s. In 1968, Romania acquired some MI-8s. However, Ceausescu was unhappy with relying on Soviet materials and invited French Aerospecial and US Skorsky to explore potential licensing production opportunities in 1973. On October 11 of the same year, Skorsky presented its S-61. Nine days later, the SA-330 arrived in Romania for demonstrations. Having made its maiden flight in 1965, the French helicopter was a rising star in the market. Furthermore, Romania had already signed an agreement with Aerospecial to produce the Alouette 3 under license as IAR-316 and was quite satisfied with this collaboration. Engaging in business with the leader of the opposing bloc would undoubtedly create problems with Moscow. On the other hand, France was no longer part of NATO's integrated military command, making it more acceptable. In these circumstances, Romania selected the SA-330 on July 30, 1974 and signed a separate agreement to undertake the licensed production of the Turbomeca Turmo 4B turboshaft engine for the helicopter. Although many sources mention the Turmo 4C as the power plant of the IAR-330, the official website of the Romanian Ministry of Defense states that it's the B variant and the latest versions also use this engine. On October 22, 1975, the first Romanian-built Puma made its maiden flight. IAR produced 15 IAR-330Hs before transitioning to IAR-330L version. These corresponded to the SA-330H and SA-330L variants differing only in their engines. Although Aerospecial ceased production of the SA-330 in 1987, Romania continued to manufacture the IAR-330 until 2008. The IAR delivered 163 helicopters, 104 of which were to the Romanian military, 2 to the company itself and 57 to export operators. Additionally, 6 British Pumas acquired secondhand from South Africa were repaired in Romania. Following the conclusion of the IAR-330 manufacturing, Eurocopter Romania, a joint venture between Airbus Helicopters and IAR, has taken over the H215 Super Puma production line. The Democratic Republic of Congo, Ecuador, Lebanon and Romania are the current operators of the helicopter. Cote d'Ivoire, Kenya, Pakistan, 
Sudan and the United Arab Emirates have retired the IIR-330. The IIR-330 shares numerous features with the SA-330 including all-metal semi-monocoque fuselage. The cabin is linked to the flight deck through an internal doorway and it features a folding seat for an extra crew member or cargo supervisor. It's 6.05 meter long, 1.8 meter wide and 1.55 meter high cabin provides 7.8 square meters of floor area and 11.4 cubic meters of usable volume. It is equipped with heating, ventilation and soundproofing systems. The IIR-330 can transport up to 16 seated soldiers or up to 2,500 tons of cargo either internally or with an external sling. It also has the capacity for 6 litters with 4 attendants for casualty evacuation. Titanium alloy is used locally beneath the engine installation which is outside the main fuselage shell. The helicopter incorporates anti-vibration measures in its main gearbox and main rotor blade. If one or both engines fail, the remaining turbine or the auto-rotating rotor can rotate the drive gears, thereby maintaining power to the ancillary systems even when the engines are off. The hydraulic motors of the semi-retractable landing gear allow the IIR-330 to maneuver on the ground with the main engines turned off. It is transportable by the C-130 Hercules. The Puma has featured in numerous films as an assault helicopter resembling the Mi-24. The Romanians made this dream a reality even before the IIR-330L SOCAT. Unlike the French versions, the initial variants of the Romanian-built helicopters can be fitted with 23mm single-barrel NR-23 gun pods, each containing 400 rounds, 57mm 16-barrel LPR-57 unguided rocket launchers, and 7.62mm door-mounted machine guns. The Romanians also equipped the IAR-330 with wire-guided 9M14 Malutka anti-tank missiles and free-fall bombs for trial purposes. Nevertheless, the IAR-330L SOCAT attack variant initiated a new lineage of the French Wildcat helicopter dynasty. Following the conclusion of the First Cold War, Romania began to develop an anti-tank capable attack helicopter while integrating its equipment with NATO. The country was already undertaking several satisfactory joint programs with Israel including the MiG-21 Lancer, Atrom and Larum. Consequently, this advantageous bilateral cooperation was also utilized to fulfill the requirement leading to the selection of Albit systems in 1995. With the technical assistance of this company, IAR began converting 24 IAR 330Ls to the SOCAT configuration. Named after the initials of System Optronic de Cercetare Shi Anti-Tank, meaning Optronic Reconnaissance and Anti-Tank System, the new variant made its maiden flight on May 26, 1998. IAR delivered SOCATs between 2001 and 2005. The helicopter is equipped with helmet-mounted displays, multifunctional displays, a flight control system, GPS INS capability and a mission computer. It features a 20mm chin-mounted KNDS France THL-20 autocannon with 750 rounds and it's capable of carrying 57mm LPR-57 unguided rocket launchers. Initially, Romania intended to equip the IAR-330L SOCAT with the Malutka M2T, a local variant of the AT-3, which features the Milon 2T's tandem warhead. However, this project was subsequently terminated and the helicopter is now capable of carrying up to 8 Spike ER anti-tank guided missiles. The IAR-330L SOCAT can also launch MANPADS type short-range air-to-air missiles. Other enhancements of the variant comprise the incorporation of hands-on throttle and stick flight control and the introduction of network-centric warfare capability. The IAR-330L SOCAT also has radar and laser warning receivers and countermeasure systems. The IAR-330L SOCAT has a crew of three. It has a length of 15 meters, a rotor diameter of 16.2 meters and a height of 4.7 meters. The helicopter's maximum takeoff weight is 7,400 kilograms. Two Turbomica Turbo 4B turboshaft engines, each providing 1,400 shaft horsepower, enable a top speed of 263 km per hour. The helicopter has a range of 550 km and can ascend to an altitude of 4,800 meters, in other words, 15,750 feet. 
Between 2005 and 2008, IAR also modernized 16 IAR 330Ls to the IAR 330M standards, four of which were in medevac configuration. These utility helicopters have received NATO-compatible avionics derived from the SOCAT but without either weapons or optronic systems. Among other features, the IAR-330M has a weather radar. Due to the cancellation of the IAR-316B program, the Romanian naval forces began to seek a new naval helicopter. Thus, IAR developed and produced the IAR-330 Naval, which entered service in 2009. It can be deployed on frigates Marisheshti, Regale Ferdinand and Regina Marina while being too heavy for the Tetal class corvettes. The company delivered three machines to the Romanian naval forces. Having the X-Band RDR-1700A radar with a range of 295 km and the top light forward looking infrared system, the rotorcraft lacks a magnetic anomaly detector, sonar buoy laying capability or a dipping sonar, rendering it unsuitable for anti-submarine warfare missions. However, it can still carry Stingray torpedoes. The IIR-330 Naval features mission management, inertial navigation and night vision systems, as well as multifunction displays, helmet-mounted displays and GPS. It is fitted with flotation gear housed underneath the nose and main undercarriage fairings. The IIR-330 SM is the variant equipped with the Turbomica Macula 1A1 engines. Developed for the United Arab Emirates, this version has a similar performance to the Atlas Oryx. The company modernized 10 existing helicopters to this standard and also produced 10 new ones. After retiring the type, the United Arab Emirates transferred at least 7 IAR-330 SMs to Lebanon. In 2013, the Lebanese Air Force converted one helicopter into a gunship configuration and equipped it with a 30mm Aden Mark 45 30mm revolver cannon on a modified pod and a pair of 68mm Sineb rocket launchers. All the weapons were taken from decommissioned Hawker Hunters. Although its trial results were successful, the helicopter we designated as SA-330SM was not accepted for active service. The eccentric Romanian dictator Ceausescu pursued numerous ambitious military projects. Some of them were technically proficient but lacked commercial success. Some others were, to put it mildly, less satisfactory in both respects. The IAR-330 program was a significant achievement. It has elevated the Romanian helicopter industry and gained popularity in the international market, albeit modestly. After Aerospecial ceased production of the SA-330 in 1987, many Puma operators have been able to continue using their helicopters thanks to the spare parts supplied by IAR. Once again, the Romanian combined the finest elements to create a more impressive and attractive variant than the original. IAR also developed the only operational attack and naval versions of the Puma. The IAR-330 has become the noble cousin of the French Wildcat helicopter dynasty. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.